Di ba? Misis ko ba yun? Yan. Di ba? Dapat ganon. And, 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 yun, sabi ko nga, your husband deserve that. And para sa atin po, talaga naman kailangan pinipreter niyo yung sarili niyo. Di ba? Kailangan maging maayos, maging maganda. Mukhang uh, fresh na fresh. Di ba? Di ba? Di ba? Di <laughs> Sabi ko naman sa may asawa. Nagsagot na gani ko tayo sa naon. Kumbaga, ah, ba? Madami tayo napapanood sa mga show na ah, kailangan nila ng makeover. Di ba? Kailangan talaga bago-bago. Bago ang inyo. Yan po ang ating pag-uusapan po today. Alam niyo po ba that you need to know no, kailangan malaman niyo na kayo ay may power to make over. May meron kang ka power to change. Meron kang power to transform. Diba? Yan po ang ating pag-uusapan. I believe ah, uh, Uh, mabibless po kayo sa ating pag-uusapan po today. Alam niyo po, uh, uh, reminder po lang po sa inyo, no? na kapag kayo po ay sa mga kay misis po the past few weeks, gumigising ako ng maaga, nagigising ako ng maaga. Alam niyo po ba? And it's not accident na nagigising kayo ng maaga. Kasi that's the time that God is calling you. No? I want everyone kasi quiet walang walang wala kang uh, disturbance na I want to talk to you naranasan nyo na ba yun? gising kayo alas 4 alas 5 God wants to speak to you and how does He speak to you? no baka akala nyo ooh audible voice ooh may naririnig ako ay nakoy ba yun? pag may naririnig kayo ang um, um, the way he talked to you is ganun din po the way he talked before through his word. Meron po siyang i-impress sa inyo na na, let's talk. Basahin niyo po ito. No? So the other day I was, I was, he gave me the division score and then I was, woo, thief. No? And then today, in the past few days, He gave me this Ephesians 1. And Ephesians 1 is talking about, I think, I think na, na tackle din po natin to noong Wednesday, at the following Wednesday, that you are blessed. Hindi nyo po alam yon, hindi nyo po uh, mauunawaan, but you are beyond blessed with immeasurable greatness. Blessing. Kayo po ay blessed talaga. Yan po ang sinabi niya sa Ephesians 1 eh. Kaya po nung binabasa ko kangin ng umaga, very early, ako po nang mag sa, sa sala. And I was, you know, every titik po, every word, talaga po pumasok. Now, minsan po, pag nag, 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 uh, babasa kayo ng bayo mo, minsan din yung maintindihan, di ba? Pero that, that this time po, nung binabasa ko, every word po, talaga po mapasok. No? Grabe, basahin niyo po ang Ephesians 1. And I will read to you kasi yun po ang ating pag-uusapan today, the power to make over. Ephesians 1, kinuha ko po ang verse 19 and 20. Sabi po dito, si Pablo, kinausap niya, sinulatan niya ang mga taga tao doon sa Episo. Sabi niya, I also pray that you will understand the incredible, yung ibang translation, the immeasurable hindi masukat. No. Greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. And this is the same mighty power. Verse 20. That raised Christ from the dead. This is the same power to die. That raised Christ from the dead. Yung power na to, nasa inyo. 
No. That raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realm. Sabi po na ibang translation. And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his great might that he wore in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. No. Ano po iyo? Yung Holy Spirit na nasa inyo. That's the same Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Ay nasa inyo yun. The one who believed Him. No? Kaya lang po, hindi na utilize, hindi nagagamit, hindi na uunawaan, at hindi na re-realize. Nasa inyo po yun. No? Yan po yung ating babasahin at yan po ang ating pagbubulay-bulayan. No? Immeasurable greatness of His power toward us who believe. We pray with you. Lord, this subject is quite important. This subject is quite a necessity for us to understand that there is immeasurable that there is great power in us who believe. Lord, sana po sa umagang ito, mas lalo nila maintindihan at maunawaan ang blessing, ang heavenly blessing that you bestow on us. Na ibindigay mo po sa amin. Marami po sa amin ang hindi nakakaunawa, naawa po hindi na-understand, hindi masusuka, Panginoon, ang blessing na nasa amin na, na ibinigay mo nung kami ay maniwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Help us to understand. Help us to realize that there is power in us to change, to transform, and to make over. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa umagang ito sa blessings mo, Panginoon. At sana, Panginoon, lahat ng aming pag-uusapan at iisipin, Panginoon, ay mabigyan ka ng kapurihan. Sa iyo po ang kapuri. Mabigyan ka ng kaluguran, ka Panginoon. We give joy and bless you in you, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ng aming Panginoon, si Jesus. Amen. 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 Alam niyo po, itong kahaba-habang panahon na pinungay uh, natin, lalo na po ako bilang pastor, a lot of friends of mine, madami pong nagtatanong. Sabi niya, pastor, alam mo, gustong gusto kong magbago. Pero hindi ko kaya. Bakit hindi ako mag mabago? Why I cannot change? I really want to change, pastor, from my heart. But I don't know how. No? Yun po ang kadalasang sinasabi sa akin. And then, pag sinabi nila, I don't know how, meron pang kasunod yun. No, kasunod, nasabihin nila, Pastor, I do not have the power to make over. I do not have the power to change. No? Alam niyo po, sa to totoo lang po, madalas tayong nanonood ng mga podcast, madalas tayong nanonood ng seminar. Actually, umaatin tayo ng mga seminar, yung mga self-help, kumbaga. No, how to be happy, how to be contented, no, yung po yung ating mga how, how, how we can change for the better, yung po yung mga ating napapanood, yung po yung ating mga napapakinggan. No, ang dami po nun. Kumbaga, you go on diet to look better. Diba? Atawa kayo, hindi totoo yun, Pasko. Diba? Ganun tayo eh. We go on diet to look better. We go to the gym, we join the, the, the health club para, para we feel better, we look better. Kumbaga, sa simula, excited tayo. Wow, sarap, magpa, sarap ng pakiramdam. No? 
Very enthusiastic tayo. Pero paglaro ng ilang panahon, pag tumatagal na, first few weeks na, I mean, after few weeks na, ayan na. Eh, tamad na ako. Dami ng tao. No, ayoko na. Lahat man ang heya ka. Di ba? Gigim ako, mas lalo ako kung at lumalakas kumain. No, sinisipa yung gym. We lost interest gradually. So, sa totoo lang, we read a lot of health books. No, self-help books. No, just recently, sabi ko, I bought a new book. Uh, kasi po, bumili kami ng, 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 ng packing, bumili kami ng aso. And eventually, I want to have a kernel. Baga, I can tell you, kung sabihin yung mga alagaan. No, so, I, 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 I uh, alagaan ng mga Hi, so I, I bought books para papaano to take care, papaano magturo, no, no. So, ganon din po tayo. We 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 buy those self help books, but the problem po dito sa mga books na nababasa natin, they can tell us what to do, no, what to do to be to to look better, to feel happy. They tell us what to do. Totoo yun. But, they are very unable to give us the power to do. No. Dali, dali sabihin, oh, dapat ganito gagawin mo, ganito gagawin mo. Papa, talaga ito. Di ba? Daling basahin eh. Pero pag in-apply mo, wala naman akong power eh. No. So, yung kumbaga, yung self-help books po will tell us, get rid of those bad habits. Okay? Get rid. Stay positive. Yan, yung mga self-help books, no? Ang tanong, how? Kumbaga, no? How to get that power to transform? How to get that power to change? How to get that power to make over? How do I get out of my own bad habits? No, yun ang mga tanong. Ang daling magbasa. At pagdating sa empowerment, wala. No, kaya doon po tayo bumibigay. Eh. Lahat mang kwenta. No. The good news po. No, yun po yung mga self-help books. Pero meron tayong good news. By God's grace po, yung Christianity ang mabuhay bilang tagapag, tagasunod at tagalik, tagapaglingkod ng Panginoon, it offers a power to change our life. No? Doon lang po makikita ang power to transform your life. The power to make over yung mga mga kapalpakan before you want to make it over pagdating po sa buhay kristyano doon po ang katotohanan doon po nangyayari talaga papaano nangyayari yun? no katulad po ng binasa natin ng Ephesians 1 Ephesians 1 is about it's talking about the resurrection power of God no nung siya po ay namatay at nabuhay, doon po ang power nagsimula. No? Doon po nagsisimula yung, yung BC to AD. Bago. No? Doon po nagsisimula yung New Testament. No? Alam niyo po, the word power, yung, yung binasa natin dito, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power. Yeah. Now, let me let me uh, linger a little on that word power. Okay? Yung power po, it appears 57 times in New Testament alone. 57 times po. And it is used to describe the most powerful event that ever happened. Yung pinaka-powerful event na nangyari sa New Testament. 
57 times. Binikas niya yan. The event, sabi ko nga kanina, that separated the AD and the BC. Okay? So, doon po nagsimula ang AD. No, this is the power. 57 times that was spoken in the Bible. That is the resurrection power of Jesus Christ from the dead. Yung po ang ibig sabihin nun. The good news, the good news is this power that spoken 57 times in the New Testament is available for you and for me. Available po ito to change your life. Available to make over again. No. Alam niyo po, sabi ko nga, let me linger a little on this word power. Yung power po, in Greek, ay binikas na dunamis. Okay? Which is the root word for the word dynamite. Okay? So, pag alam na natin yung dynamite, woo, alam na natin na ibig sabihin. So, Paul was saying, no, God want to give you a dynamite power that can change or transform your life. God wants to give you that dynamite power. Immeasurable power. Sabi nga, it is the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead 2,000 years ago is available to you and me right now to transform your weakness to strength to transform your failure to success, to transform your defeated life to a living, victorious life. Amen. It's available to you and to me. Amen. No. Diba? That's good news. That's the gospel. No. Alam niyo po, the Bible describe itong resurrection power na sinasabi natin kanina, it described to us in three ways. No. Ang resurrection power daw na yan ay merong kapangyarihan to cancel our past. Una, cancel our past. Pangalawa, it has the power to overcome yung mga problema natin. Ganda nung pangat. Dalawa pa lang, ganda na. It will cancel our past. It has the power to overcome yung mga problema natin. Yung pangatlo, yung resurrection power. Papaano din describe sa atin? It has the power to transform our personality. No. Una, cancel your past. Pangalawa, overcome the power to overcome yung mga problema mo. At yung pangatlo, the power para baguhin ka. May kompleto. No. Yun ang buhay kristyano. No. Again, yun ang buhay kristyano. Pag nagkulang ang isa doon, ay, nako, bumalik ka sa basic. Lalong-lalo na yung pangatlo, yung transformation of personality. Pag wala iyon, I have to question your salvation. Kasi, yun ang kapangyarihan niya. Itatransform ka niya. Binabago ka niya. Eh kung hindi ka nabago, kamot ulo tayo. Baka kailangan tanggapin ko talaga siya na Panginoon ko. I have to question. You have to question your salvation kung walang nabago sa buhay mo. Okay? So, cancel our past, the power to overcome your problems and difficulties, and the power to transform your personality. Pag-usapan po natin yung una. 
power to cancel your past. Colossians 2, 13 to 14. Sabi po dito, You were dead because of your sins and because your sinful na nature was not yet cut away. And don't pa na. No. Then God made you alive with Christ for He forgave Ano kaya yun? Click mo ulit sa Forgave all our sins. No. Keep that in mind. Yung word na all. Okay? And then verse 14. He canceled the record of the charges against us. Hindi lang kinancel. He took it away. I have my name on the cross. No? The resurrection power, sabi po dyan, can cancel our past. Ano po yung past natin? Yung mga failures natin? Yung mga mistakes natin? Yung mga sins natin? Yung mga vices natin? Yung mga vision natin? Yung mga addiction natin? At higit sa lahat, yung mga regrets natin? Yung pangihinayang natin? No? Marami po sa atin na nabubuhay pa rin sa pangihinayang. Sana ganito ang buhay ko kung ganito ginawa ko. No? Ayaw, um, ayaw umusan kasi dapat ganito ang buhay ko kung ganito ginawa ko o hindi ko ginawa. No? But the resurrection power, sabi dito, He canceled the record of the charges again and took it away. Sabi, He can cancel your past, your failures, your mistakes, your sins, your regrets. He can cancel it. Alam niyo po, yung cancel dito, it does not mean denying the past. Okay? No, baka sabi na, lahat man ako kasalanan eh, no? So, it's not about that. It's not talking about canceling does not mean denying the past as if it never happened. No, madami po din sa atin yun, yung denial, di ba? Wala mo akong ginawa eh. No. Naging faithful naman ako, naging honest naman ako eh. Cancel here means to eliminate, to deactivate, or offset something. Kung baga, nangyari. Pero, I will deactivate it. Nangyari na yun. I deactivate. Hindi po ibig sabihin, wala naman nangyaring ganun. No? <laughs> nangyari. But, it's done. No. Have you ever, question, have you ever, ever started, oh no, you're going on, bye bye, see you eh. Bye bye, see you eh. So, have you ever started yung isang proyekto sa buhay mo? Okay? Mayroon kang gustong plano. Kailangan gawin ko to. And halfway, you wish, you wish you could start all over again. Up! Halfway! Manay, manay, manay! Balik ako dun. Sa, sa una uli. Nagawin ko uli. Ulitin ko. No. A lot of people say... Uh, feel the same way in life. Di ba? Yung gusto mong bumalik. Ngayon parang, ay, balik uli ako. I made many mistakes and I wish, I wish I could just reset all over and start all over again. Di ba? Ganun tayo? Di ba? Kaya minsan ito tayo magpag-start. Magiging start ka pala sa sabi, no, I made so many mistakes before, eh, no? No, I, I, I wish I could restart all over and start over again. Some people just cannot seem to let go of the past. No? Dami niya. Yung ba, yung mga nangyari, o yung galit nila, inuulit-ulit pa. Kaya nga, kayo, wag kayo nag-aaway ng mister niyo, wag kayong maging historical, ha? <laughs> 
Pastor, mali, hysterical. Historical! Kasi lagi mo hini-history. Five years na nangyari, inulit pa. Ten years na, inulit pa. Meron na kong kilala, 35 years na, inulit pa. Ay, natawa si Gacy's. No? 35 years na, alam mo, niloko niya ako. Hiniliwan ako. Grow up! 35 years na! May mga apu ka na! Di ba? Tawa kayo. Ganto siguro kayo. Ha? Hindi, hindi. O, gano'n. Minsan. Minsan. Noon. Yun. Tama noon. Some people just seem to let go of the past. And as a result, ito po ang sana makinig kayo dito. No? Kapag ka you cannot let go of the past, ganito po ang mangyayari. You let the past limit your present opportunities. Hindi lamang po yun. If you cannot let go of your past, your past will determine your future. Di ba? Hola, ang sarap. opportunities, hindi lang yun. Ang pinakmasakit, you let your past determine your future. Diba? Sakit, no? Ito po mga taong ito, they will live in life of regret and continually sorrowful. Diba? Kapag ikaw, historical ka, ay, nako, kada dalaw ni Mister, saan ka pupunta? Sinong kasama mo? Di ba? Tawa kayo, no? Daming guilty dito. Ano? Daming guilty? If, if you, sabi ko nga, if you live a life from the past and regret, magiging, hindi ka magiging masaya. No. Yung sasabihin mo, if only I have not done that, no, sana kung hindi ko ito nagawa. Or, if only I have made these changes sa buhay ko. No. Yung lagi mong iniisip. And they are continu continually hunted by your past. Di ba lagi kang kada galaw mo eh baka mangyari na naman ito. Nagpatawad ka na. Pinatawad mo ngayon. Ay, ay pagigil. Pagising mo bukas ni, may naalala ko nila. Di ba? Ito po yung mga tao that they will continually sorrowful because they will live the life full of regret. No? Yung sasabihin mo, I, 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 I blew it big, big this time. And I am going to pay for it for the rest of my life. 
Number. Naisip niyo ba yun? No? Ibang laki po malipak ako ng todo. Alam ko, pagdudusahan ko ito ng habang buhay. No? May good news po ako sa inyo. No? Kaya lang, kailangan niyo makinig hanggang katapusan. No? <laughs> Wala akong shortcut, no? Alam niyo po, yung Greek word dito, doon sa ating pinag-usapan, He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away, nailing at the cross. Sabi po ko dyan, and then, tuloy po natin, He canceled the record ah, tamay. Okay. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it at the cross. You know, a a a alam niyo po yung yung Greek jan na yung kanina yung may black. Balik nga natin yung so, black. Yeah, yeah. You know, sabi jan. Then God made you alive with Christ, for He forgave what? Sampai. Yo. Ah, fight it. All our sins. Alam niyo po yung yung Greek word ng all jan. Pas. P A S. Okay? Yung po yung tunay na pagkakasulat, original na pagkakasulat ni Pablo. And do you know what it means? Ah. Sige nga. Wala niyo nga pagka Ha? First Hindi. Sige nga. Walaan nyo. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng Greek word na pass? Anong ibig sabihin niya? Okay. Para hindi tayo magtagal. Ang ibig sabihin po niya ay all. All. Ano pa bang ibig sabihin nyo? All. All. No. Lahat. 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 When God forgave our sins, He forgave all of them. Diba? Yung na ibig nyo sabihin eh. E tayo, nililista natin. Hindi naman, siguro hindi kasama to. Siguro, pinatawan niya ako dito, pero ito hindi. Pero yung isabihin ni Pablo dyan, He forgave all. Can you say that with me? All. Lahat. Walang nakira. Pinatawan niya lahat. Lahat. God was saying that it is unnecessary for you to go around blaming yourself and carrying the heavy loads of guilt. Tigilan nyo na yan. Pero, Lord, di ba? Ang dami kong kasalanan. Pinatawad na kita, anak. Lahat. Lahat. Pero, Lord. No. When He say, I have forgiven all your sins, meaning He forgave you all your guilt, all your old mistake, all your hurts. I forgive all of them. All. He already canceled every record na dapat mong bayaran dahil doon sa kasalanan mo dati. Cancel yun na na. Lahat cancel. Pero, Lord, <laughs> lahat yung binayaran ko, I nailed it all in the cross. Di ba? Alam niyo po, Jesus knows exactly the things that we have done wrong. Alam niya lahat yan. Wala akong nalilihim sa kanya. Ba? Ang mag- 
magtanda doon, He did not come to blame us. Hindi po siya napa dito at sinabi, ay, 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 ikaw ha, eto ang mga kasalanan mo. <laughs> ang dami. No, He did not come to blame us. He came to take it away. Diba sabi niya? To take it away. Hindi ako napa dito para sisihin ka. O kutiyain ka. Naparito ako para alisin lahat yun. Yes. Di ba? He, he did not come to condemn us. He came to save us. To change us. To transform us. To make over. He came. That's why He came. In Jeremiah 31:34. Says, Naku, paborito niya. Jeremiah 31-34. Sabi po, The Lord says, And I will forgive their wickedness, and I will never again remember their sins. Ah, I will never again. I will omay. Double negative in Greek. No, in Hebrew. Oh, man. Never. 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 Again, remember their sins. This is probably the most amazing statement in the Bible where God, who created everything, who knows everything, who is the God of all knowing, said, I forget Sipi mo ha? ang Diyos na all-knowing, all-powerful, sinabi niya, nakalimutan ko. Huh? This is the only time He said, I forget. He is the God of all-knowing. But He said, your sins, I forget. No. So when we come to Him, when we confess our sins and ask for forgiveness, He cancel your past. God chooses to forget our wrongdoings. God chooses to forget our mistakes. God chooses to forget our failures. And that is good news. Diva. Even if we die today and stand before God in heaven, pwede natin sabihin, Lord, patabarin mo ko yung tinawa ko nung isang linggo. Lord! No! Alam niyo ang sasabihin niya? Anong kasalanan mo? What sin did you make? Di ba? Bakit? Dahil sinabi niya eh. The God who cannot lie said, I forget. Nakalimutan ko. Ikaw ito. Pinapaalala mo pa. Pero Lord, papaalala ko lang sa iyo ha. Last week yung ginawa ko. Anak, hindi ko naalala. Nakalimutan ko. No. He canceled our past and He chose Again, ha? he chose to forget. He has canceled our past and set us free to get on with our present life. Dapat ganun din ginagawa mo. Di ba? Ilang beses kang nagpatawad? Ilang beses kang dapat magpatawad? Ano sabi ni Jesus Christ? 70 times 7. Alam niyo po ba ibig sabihin ng numbers na yun? Ang numbers na yun, 70 times 7, is perpetual. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ni Kristo. Walang hanggan. Kung kailangan mo magpatawad pa ulit-ulit, magpatawad ka. Amen. 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 Amen.
siguro po talaga po ng mga, mga kailangan magpatawad. <laughs> Why God cancel our past? Lord, bakit ba? Now, before Jesus died at the cross, His last statement was, sinabi po ni Pastor Akano, kaya sabi ko, oh, thank you Lord, doon sa ating uh, communion. It is finished. John 19.30 Alam niyo po, itong praise na to, it is finished. Pagka itinanslate mo yan sa original Greek word na isinula, isang word lang po yan. Yung it is finished sa atin namin, no? English no, namin. Pero sa isang word, sa Greek po, isang word lang yan. Tetelestai. Okay? Isang word lang po yan. No? Ibig pong sabihin, pay in full. Bayad na lahat. Paid in full. Tetelest time. Jesus said in the cross, All your sins, I paid in full. Bayad lahat. Romans 8.1, sabi po dito, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. No more condemnation. Jesus was crucified in the cross so that we could stop crucifying ourselves. No. Kapag ka nagkasala ka, hindi ka mapakali, parang mamamatay ka na, hindi ka mapuha. No. Jesus was crucified at the cross so that you will stop crucifying yourself. He was hung up for our hang-ups. Dami natin hang-ups. But he was hung up at the cross because of our hang-ups. And that again is a gospel. That again is a good news. No. The real question is this one. Wala namang problema pala kay Lord. No, pagdating sa kasalanan ko. Ang question is, if God forget, forgets all our sin when we confess them. Don't you think we ought to forget, forget them too? Huh? Huh? Kung nakalimutan ni Lord, He choose to forget your sins. Di ba dapat kalimutan mo na rin? Di ba? Ang problema pala, Hindi kay Lord. Sa inyo ang problema. Pabalik-balik. Historical tayo ng historical. Ano? No. Alam niyo, totoo po iyon. Pagka meron po kayong argument, ito lang na, bilang pastor, pag may argument po kayo ng mahal niyo sa buhay, lalo ng inyong kabiyak, Huwag po kayo maging historical. No. No. Nakalipas na yan eh. dami kong kilala, sampung taon na, ganun pa rin. Limang taon na, ganun pa rin. No. Humingi na ng tawad, ganun pa rin. No. Sinong nagiging miserable? Di ba ikaw? No, ikaw ang misinable. Diba? Masyadong affected yung group na yun. <laughs> no. Ito yun. How long do you remember yung utang mo o yung bill mo na binayaran mo na? Binayaran mo na. Ah. Di ba pagkabayad mo o? Utang ulit. <laughs> Ay, no, 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 no. Di ba? Di ba? I 
will get my bill as soon as I pay them. Di ba? Hindi mo pwedeng, ay, yung utang ko last week, ay, bayad na. Yung utang ko last week, nagising ka sa umaga, ay, yung utang ko last week. Di ba, hindi ka noon. I will get my bill as soon as I pay them. And I don't worry about the last month's bill. Di ba? Hindi mo inuulit-ulit yun. Ganon din po. Since Christ has paid our bill in full, we don't need to think about it anymore. No? Tayo pa ulit-ulit. Anak, bayad na yan eh. Pero Lord, ang laki ng utang ko noon. Noon yun, bayad na nga. Mukhang na to. Ayaw makinig. Ayaw tuloy sumaya. No? Paulit-ulit. Someone has said, when we give God our mistakes and failures, ito po daw, no? sabi dito, Alam niyo po ang ginawa ni Lord? When we give Him our mistakes, our failures, itinatapon pala doon yan ni Lord doon sa deepest part of the sea. Pinakamalalim. Tapos, hindi lang yun. Lilidyan niya ng karatula. Kasabihin niya, no fishing. Bawal mamista. No. Because He doesn't want us to keep on searching for our sins. Ganon tayo eh. Itinapon na nga eh. Nakalimutan na sa karim lang. Ikaw pa nangingis na pa. I do it. I know I will catch it. Someday. No? Philippians 3, 13 to 14. Sabi po ni Pablo dito. Dear brother and sister, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and I receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Napakaganda. Pasto, Tagalogin mo nga. Na, para mas maganda. Sabi niya ni Pablo, Mga kapatid, hindi ko ipinapalagay na nakamit ko na ito. Ngunit isang bagay ang ginagawa ko. Habang nililimot ko ang nakaraan at sinisikap na marating ang layuning nais kong makapuntan, nagpupunyagi ako patungo sa hangganan upang makamtan ang gantimpala ng pagkatawag sa akin ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Jesus ang buhay na nasa langit. Amen. Amen. Forgetting the past. God power is to power is the power to cancel our past. Kaya niya. And He has the power in us. Na? Na? Pangalawa. Yung, yung tatlong bahagi. Sabi po dito. God's power will overcome the bad. God's power number two. Kaya mo yan. Yeah, God's power will overcome yung mga problema natin. Ito na yung practical side. No. Sabi po ng Romans 8.37 No, in all this thing, we are more than conquerors through Him. Kung napas. No. Everyone has a problem. Wala po tayong ligtas. Wala pong exemption dyan. No? Lahat po tayo may problema. No? Bakit po? Dahil tayo ay living in a fallen world. No? 
Ito pong Sunday butang. No? So, habang nandito tayo, may problema tayo. If you don't think, you you don't have a problem. No? If you think, you don't have a problem. Ay pusuhan mo yung sarili mo. <laughs> Bakit po? Ang, ang, ang kilala ko lang na walang problema ay nahandon sa simenteryo. Ang apatay. No? The real problem po daw talaga is what we do with our problems. No? What we do with our problems. Most of the time, we try to solve them with our own power. Yun. Kaya ko ito, Lord. Diba? Tatawag lang tayo sa bumbero kapag may sunog na. No? Lord, antabay ka lang yan. Standby ka lang yan. Tatawagin kita pag kailangan na kita. No? Tumatawag lang pag kaiyak na ng isya ko, Lord. Wala na akong magawa, Lord. Kailangan kita. How do you know when you are trying to solve your problem by your own power? How do you know? Now you are trying to solve your problem by your own power. Madali lang po. You feel very tired all the time. Diba? Papagod mo ang pagod ka. No, this, this week po, meron po akong uh, uh, service job uh, that was uh, Friday. No. So ito pong job na to, I was calling the customer because it's due uh, end of January. And I've been calling them since January. But they don't want to give me the time to, to look on the equipment because they are very busy. No, every day, they have surgery. Ito po, ang ginagawa ko ay para sa katalata. No, so, so, every day, they will have probably uh, uh, five to ten patient, and each patient will cost sixty thousand Hong Kong dollar. So, then if I give to you the full day, what will happen to us? No, so I don't push, you know, I don't push uh, because, you know, but it's due. Na yung company malalaman it's due. Then we have to do this. Pero customer is always right. Besides, they talk about money. Wala ka na, tayo ka na. So, nung, nung last week, last resort, sabi ko doon sa sales namin, hey, can you try to help me? Try to convince them. Okay, then, you know, this, this, this person in charge, very difficult, yeah. I know, because we've been talking to them for the whole month, they don't want. So, so I pray, so I pray, just give me that day before I leave for Philippines again. So, para maging okay pa na. And then, uh, Monday, suddenly, the, the, the sales of them, good news, he gave me us Friday. You know, he gave us Friday so he can come and uh, do it on Friday. Okay, so I came Friday. Ready? Everything is open. Afternoon. 12 o'clock, you know, half of the job, everything is open. The same customer, they have another clinic in Jordan. I was doing it in Causeway Bay. They have the same clinic in Jordan. They call. The doctor, the owner, call. Well, I have a case, but the machine here failed. Can you come? No. Sabi ko. Oh. I mean your clinic right now. To another clinic, I cannot come because the, the, the owner is only understand you are there. Yeah. And we need you here. You cannot. You know, so panic. No. So sabi ko dito. What are you going to do with your problem? You know. The first time I came on Friday, Friday morning, you know, I always lay my hand to every equipment. Lord. Make this equipment work very well. You know, I leave it to your hand. 
everything will be smooth. So, sabi ko doon sa may ari, let me just finish this one. It usually take one day. But I do it half a day. No? I try to do it. So, napinis naman po ng half a day. Pinuntahan ko yung equipment niya. And then, the owner is there. The owner is really a big guy in Hong Kong. Sabi niya, then, can you do now? Sabi, ito ko, patient. I asked the patient to come back. Malak, no? But can you do it now? I say, sabi ko, I'll try, but it will take time. But, no, it will take at least four hours to do it. But God is with, uh, God is good, sabi ko. Lord, no, eh, lagi mo sinasabi sa akin, I was preparing my message. The, the question is, what are you going to do with your problem? Are you going to do it on your own power? Or His power? Sabi ko, Lord, if it is your will, let me fix it. No. So by, 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 by three hours, it was completed. No. So two equipment in one day saves the day, not the full day. Ang, 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 what's my point? Sinasabi ko nga po, ang, ang, ang problema natin is, the real problem is what we do with our problem. Are we going to do it with our own power? And just feel tired, feel exhausted. But God wants us to stop trying and start trusting Him with our problem. Now my problem, sabihin nyo, hindi mga problema ni Lord yung equipment mo, trabaho mo yan eh. No. Lahat ang nasa sakupan ko, sa Kanya yun. No, sabi ko, no. It's impossible. It's beyond Imagination, you know, two machines on one day. But with your power, I can do all things because you have given me the strength. No, someone said, po, problems are like mattress. Yeah, yung yung problema po daw natin, parang kutsun yan ng kama natin. Okay? If you are on top, you rest easy. Diba? But, pagka na ilalim ka doon sa kutsun mo, you suffocate. Ganon po ang problema. Parang kutsun niya. If you're on top, you rest easy. Pero pag you go underneath, suffocate ka ang problema mo. A lot of us are under our problem. No? Yung problema natin ang nagahari sa atin, eh, may problema ako, paano ko ito gagaya, problema ako. Although we cannot always control our problem, but we can control the response to them. Di ba? Hindi natin makokontrol yung mga problema dumarating sa buhay natin. Pero kaya natin kontrolin papaano tayo magre-react Papaano tayo sasagot? Papaano tayo magre-response? Yun ang kaya natin kontrolin. Di ba? You may be saying, Pastor, you don't know all my problems. You don't know what I am going through. Very tough time, Pastor. If that is the case, I would then encourage you to take your focus out of your problem and focus instead on God's 7,000 promises in the Bible. 7,000 promises. Focus on that one. Sabihin mo, Pastor, problema ko to, practical to. Yeah. No. Kaya nga siya namatay sa cross eh. Para sa iyo. Lahat ng para sa iyo. No, including that problem. Paul said in Romans 8.35, yun nga yung kinanta natin kanina, yung English, who, who shall separate us? Sabi, dyan, sabi po dyan, who shall, what black, what separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? What can separate us? Sabi po sa Tagalog, 
Sino ang makakapaghiwalay sa atin sa pag-ibig ni Kristo? Ang kaguluhan kaya? Ang kapethatian? Ang pag-uusig? Ang pagkagutong kaya? Ang kahirapan? Ang panganib o kamanayan? Yan po. Ito pong sinabi dito ni Pablo, shall separate in Greek word, lagi kong ginagamit yung original writing po, no? Churiso. No? Who shall churiso us from the love of Christ? Ibig pong sabihin niyang churiso na yan, it means to force, to pull apart. Yung paghihiwalay ng todo. Sino ang makakapaghiwalay pa sa atin ng maginding paghihiwalay? Sino daw? Who shall separate us? Who shall churiso us from the love of Christ? Alam, alam niyo po, ito pong sinabi ni Pablo ay in Greek, meron po tayong tinatawag na mga mood, no? Pagka nag-aaral uh, kayo ng Greek, may mga mood yan. Kaya lang maganda eh. Sa English po, walang mga mood yan eh. Yung pagbabasahin mo, hindi mo gaano mapil yung nagsusulat. Pero sa Greek word po, mapipil mo. Galit ba to? Masaya ba to? Sigurado ba siya? O doubtful siya? Ganun po ka-powerful ang Greek word, no? So, ito pong Greek word na to, to force or pull apart, paghiwalay, to reason, is 100% sure. 100% sure. Sabi po, while yung, yung sinabi dito, tinanong siya, ano, who shall separate us? Sino matagaga ang makakapaghiwalay sa atin kay Kristo? Sinagot din ni Pablo, Verse 37. Sabi po niya dito. No. In all this thing. No. We are more than conquerors through Him who love us. Yung love naman po dito is agape. Unconditional love. Very certain po. 100% sure si Pablo sinabi No, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Wala pong makakapaghiwalay sa pag-ibig natin kay Kristo. The Greek old hippo declares that we are, yung, yung sinasabi po dyan, we are more than conqueror. Alam niyo po ba, hindi naman tama yan eh. Hindi po tama yung pagkakasulat sa English na yan. Ang tama po dito, in Greek word, sabi diyan, we are super conqueror. In all these things, we are more than super conqueror. Sabi, ibig sabihin, we have a great overpowering victory over yung mga kahirapan. No. Tribulation, distress, persecution, famine. May power tayo dyan. Super conqueror tayo dyan. If we put our trust and lives in God's hand and relies in Christ's resurrection power, nothing can defeat us. Nothing can overwhelm us. Nothing can destroy us. Yan po ang sinabi dyan ni Pablo. Because why? You are super conqueror through Christ who loves you. That's the message of resurrection. That's the heart of the gospel. That's the heart of the good news. No matter how dark a situation may be, God can always turn it around for you. No matter how hopeless life may seem, God can bring hope in you. The same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead allow us to rise above and defeat our problems, mga kapatid. The same power. That's a powerful power that is in you. And it allows you, it empowers you to defeat the problem you may have. What, no matter what problem you may have right now, mga kapatid. 
That's resurrection power. Number three. Ay, itong pinakapaborito. God's power will transform our personality. Resurrection power, sinabi ko nga kanina, it enable us to cancel our past. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It gives us power to overcome ang mga problema natin sa buhay. Thank you, Lord. But that's not all it does. Hindi lamang po iyon sa akin, itong pinagmanaga. Resurrection power also help us to transform, change our personality. Diba? Now, what are the things that you want to change in you? Anong ginagawa mo? Yung mga gusto mong baguhin. Anong ginagawa mo? Or, 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 ang pinakamadali nito, para malaman mo kung ano ang dapat mabago sa iyo. Tanungin mo yung asawa mo. Ha! The best information. Ay, walang asawa. Papaano nga naman, no? Totoo yun. The best source mo ay asawa. Anong dapat baguhin sa sarili ko? No? One, one, maybe, one husband will say, Alam mo yan, pastor, yung asawa ko, he is too temperamental. Asawa ko niya, too temperamental. Anong ibig mo sabihin? 90% temper and 10% mental. May <laughs> saltek. <laughs> Maybe you always say it's just like me to be late all the time in the church. Lagi ako late eh. Ganun ako. Iyon ako. Di na ako mababago. No. Maybe it's just like me to be unable to go on diet. Oh, New Year's resolution. Magda-diet na ako. February na. Ganun pa rin ang diet ko. No. It's just like me to bow mouth somebody. Tumahimik kayo. Mahimik ang inatawa ng kayo. Pero kayo, no? no? Maybe it's just like me to bow mouth somebody. Yung magsabi ng hindi maganda sa kapwa. O magmalites. No. Maybe it's just like me. No. Iyan na ako eh. No, pinanganak akong gano'n. Huwag ka namang mamatay ng gano'n. No, pwede ka namang pinanganak ng gano'n. That's all. Pero huwag ka namang mamatay ng gano'n. No. No, it's just like me. It's just like me to be depressed or get angry all the time. I, I, I'm pretty sure you are well aware about some of your character traits po that gusto mong baguhin. How does God change us? Now, God's power will transform the Pero kung paano niya tayo binago, babaguhin, makinig kayo, at sana may matutunan kayo. No. no. Kailangan niyo to. Kailangan niyo magbago. Baka hindi kayo makarating ng langit pag hindi nagbago. No. So, God uses a process. Pwede na kaya kanya. Okay, sound check, sound check. Pwede na? Okay. So, okay? God uses a process. Proseso yan. 
No, hindi po instantly, oh, nagbago. Hinabukasan nagbago. God uses a, pro a process. In fact, He uses two-step process to change us. Okay, dalawang bahagi po, dalawang step ng proseso. First step, 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. No. Sabi po dyan, the initial step po that when we commit our life to Christ, we are not the same anymore. We are a new life that began. Okay? Dapat alam niyo yun. Hindi na ako yung dati. Bago na ito. That's why they call it born again. No. Being born again doesn't, does not mean that you are being reincarnated. Okay? Hindi po yun na ibig sabihin. It simply means we get a chance to start over again. Nabago. It is not Turning over a new leaf. Hindi po. Hindi po yun ang ibig sabihin nun. It's getting a new leaf. Bago. Hindi po binaligtad lang. Pag tingin mo sa kabila, ay, ayun pa rin ang kabulukan. No. It's a press start. No. It's a new beginning with a big difference. We now have a new nature. We now have the Holy Spirit living in us. We now, to, yung Holy Spirit that provide power to change. Hanjan yan. Katukin nyo. Paminsan-minsan, katukin nyo naman. Lord, 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 wake up. Hindi na itong tulog yan. No. The second step, sabi ko nga, unang step yun. He changed. He gave us a new you. Okay? Pangalawang step. Romans 12. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Ibig pong sabihin, it is followed by the second step, by a long, lifelong process that is described in Romans 12. Poseso po iyan. Nabago ang iyong pananaw. Bago ang isipan mo. When the Holy Spirit controls our life, he will produce in us a nine positive characteristic that is mentioned in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Na? Yung ano yun? Love, joy, peace, kindness, patience, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It produces in us. No? How many people you know or how many people you work with exhibit this kind of fruit of the Holy Spirit quality? Ilan yung mga kilala nyo? Okay, another question. How many people you know or you work with will also say that you exhibit this quality? Baka wala, ano? No. You know, the sad part, the sad part, doon sa mga dapat may Holy Spirit empowering us, the sad part is rather than loving others, we are very often very unloving. Laging nakasimangon. Laging naka... Hindi makaipintaan mo ka. Laging galit. Rather than living joyously, we feel so defeated, we feel so depressed, we feel so discouraged. Diba? Yun ang pinakasad. Rather than experiencing peace, we feel so pressured, so uptight. Diba? 
Ganun lang niya. Rather than showing kindness, it's every man for himself. Bahala ka sa buhay mo. No. Bakit ako makikialam sa buhay mo? Ako man, dami kong problema. Problemahin pa kita. No. Instead of modeling goodness, we often feel there is nothing good about ourselves. Papaano ako magiging example nila? Eh, sa mga ako galing ito. Hindi mo pa binago. No, alam mo na nga eh. Instead of being faithful, we neglect our commitment. Instead of being gentle, we respond in anger or resentment every time na offend tayo. Amen? Amen. No. Na, may nakakita ka lang sa Facebook. Makapawi ang kinabukas pagkatapos ko sa church. Sa Monday. Huwag Sunday. Kala ko ikaw lang marunong mag-post. Ah. Meron ako. Monday morning. First thing in the morning. Instead of gentleness, we respond in anger. Instead of practicing self-control, we watch our life falling apart. No? These are very contrasting. No? Kabaliktaran between letting the power of God work in our life or relying our own power work in our lives. You po ang kabaligtaran. Kapag ka you let your power work in you. Or you let the power of Christ that is living in you work in you. We must remember that the fruit, remember this, we must remember that the fruit of the Spirit is not something that we work up. Okay? Hindi po natin kayang pagtrabawuhan yan, na Yung fruit of the Holy Spirit, hindi po tayo ang nagtatanim niya, nagpapalay, nagdidilay, at magpuproots. Hindi po. No. It is something God produces in us when we fully trust Him with our lives. It's by grace. Ngayon, Ano ang makakapag-hinder to changing into a person that God want you to be? Ano kaya? Tanungin mo yung sarili mo. No. It's not the devil. Baka, sabi, ah, ah, yung devil eh. Yung devil, kaya hindi ako mabago dahil dyan eh. No. It's not the devil. O baka sabihin mo, hindi, dahil dito sa labuan ko. Kaya hindi ako mabago. Hindi kasi nagbabago to. Di ba? It's not the other people. And it's not the circumstances. Kaya hindi naman ako mabago. Kaya hindi naman nababago ang buhay ko. Ganun pa rin ako. Di ba? It's not the circumstances. It's not the other person. It's not the devil. Ano po? yung decision mong ipuspo. Yung decision mong i-delay. No. Many people have decided that they want to change for the better but never do anything to fulfill it. Delaying, postponement could be fatal. Nakakamatay yan. No. Ano ibig sabihin? Gusto mo magbago. Ano sasabihin mo sa rin mo? One of these days. Alang araw, magbabago din ako. No, nasal ko ka ng jeep na matay. Hindi ka matay. Sorry. One of this day, I'm going to have to see a doctor. One of this day, I'm going to have the surgery that I need. One of this day, I'm going to spend more time with my family. One of these days, I get serious about being part of the church. One of these days, I become active in church. One of these days, I'm going to get into shape. 
one of these days. Ang kadalasan, yung day na yon never comes. Hindi nangyari. No. Yeah. Ang bango ng tinola. <laughs> Lord, kaya ko pa to. Ang bango? You and I are guilty on this kind of behavior at many times. Postponement, delay, one of these days. We delay or postpone those changes that we need. We know that it is good for us. Why? Why? Bakit? Dahil kadalasan, we are so self-satisfied. Okay naman ako eh. Alam ko naman pupunta ako ng lagi, tinanggap ko si Kristo eh. Tsaka na ako magsisimba. Kasi yun ang pangako niya eh. No. Maybe we are too lazy to change. Maybe. Ito, ang kadalasan. We are too afraid because hindi tayo sigurado kung anong idudulot ng pagbabago natin. Baka kasi pag naging active na ako sa church, makakalimutan ko na yung mga kaibigan ko na doon sa kumukotikotita. Kumukotiko sila. Baka makalimutan ko na sila kapag nagbago na ako. Baka iwasan na nila ako. Baka sabihin na nila pag darating ako yun na si Borna niya. Iwasan na nila ako. We are too afraid or unsure what the change will happen or will involve in us. Maybe we are too proud or just stubborn. Okay naman ako. Mabait ako kung pera sa kanya. <laughs> Impyerno yan, langit ako. <laughs> Di ba? Ganun tayo eh. We are too proud or just stubborn. Mabait ako. Kung pera sa kanya. Sa kanya pa kayo ng pera. No? Whatever reason ko, we delay. Kaya po, yung pagbabago, hindi naman sa Diablo ang hindrance. Hindi po sa ibang tao, hindi po yung circumstances natin. Ikaw. No. Ikaw. No. It's one thing to tell you that you have the power to cancel your past. Totoo po yun. It's one thing to tell you that you have power to overcome your problem and a power to transform your personality. Totoo po yun. Isang bagay po yun. You may agree with me everything that I said, but you may still wait and let Jesus help you one of these days. Di ba? Ang dami ko kong kilalang ganun. Tinanggap si Kristo. Pero laging, simba ka naman. One of this day. Hintay ka lang. Bumilang na ng taon. One of this day. <laughs> Jesus Christ has the power to make changes in your life now. Amen. Now. He will give you the power to get started and the power to keep going. If you have been unable to let go of your past, Jesus Christ offers a complete forgiveness, mga kapatid. Complete forgiveness. Grace has been offered to you already. You don't deserve it, but I give it anyway, sabi ni Cristo. He can put your life back together again. It's never too late to start over. You are never a failure until you give up. Okay? You are never a failure until you give up. Maybe you are overwhelmed by your problems. Jesus' resurrection reminds us that no situation is hopeless. Relax and trust God. You don't have to be controlled by your circumstances, mga kapatid. Yung mga nangyayari sa buhay mo, hindi dapat yan nagpo-control sa'yo. 
No problem is too big for God. We have a big living God. He is still in the resurrection business, mga kapatid. He loves to turn our crucifixion into a resurrection. Tandaan niyo yun. He can turn your crucifixion into a resurrection. Tanong, what are you waiting for? Right now you can say, Jesus, take my life right now. Take control of my life right now. Take the good, the bad, and the ugly. Take every part of me, Lord. I want you to be in total control of me, Lord. Open your heart to his love right now. And let his transforming resurrection power become a reality in your life. No delay. Do not procrastinate. Do not postpone. Will you pray with me? Will you all stand?